Madison Corbett. I'm the Global Product Manager for Orifice Flow Meters with Emerson. I'll be walking through how to properly install a Rosemount 405 conditioning flow meter using a centering ring. These are the tools needed. Bolts, a ruler, wrenches, a centering ring, gaskets, and a flow meter. We should also verify the flow direction on the arrow of the neck of the 405. Now we can check to make sure we have the proper straight run requirements for the line size. In most cases, a conditioning orifice plate will only need a straight run of two pipe diameters upstream and two pipe diameters downstream. Next, we should locate the centering ring. The centering ring that comes with the unit has a bolt pattern. These centering rings vary in size based on the line size of the unit. Today, we're using a three inch centering ring for a three inch unit. The bolt pattern on the centering ring has numbers representing the ANSI rating. It is important to make sure that you match the correct ANSI rating on the centering ring to the ANSI rating on the installed flanges. As you can see, the installed flanges on this unit are 150 pounds. Now we can place the centering ring around the 405. Make sure the RTD temperature input is offset to one side of the wafer if an RTD is present. Ensure the centering ring is on the side with more space. If the centering ring is too loose from the wafer, stand the centering ring on its end and lightly apply pressure. This will allow it to stand the wafer with greater ease. Then place the conditioning orifice down and start working on the flange on the actual line. Insert one bolt into one of the holes on the bottom of the flange. Now place the flow meter on the bolt using the 150 pound slot on the centering ring. Rotate the flow meter so the centering ring lines up with the second hole on the bottom of the flange. Then insert the second bolt through the flange and through the second 150 pound slot on the centering ring. Once the unit is in place, you can insert the two gaskets between the flange and the 405. Next, insert the other two bolts in the top of the two holes of the flanges and hand tighten in a cross pattern. Finally, use the two 1 1 16th wrenches to tighten all eight nuts a half turn past hand tight Make sure to tighten again in a cross pattern. It is important to verify the alignment of the flow meter by ensuring that the outside edge of the wafer body lines up with the edge of the raised face flange. That is how you install a conditioning orifice flow meter using a centering ring. Please refer to our quick start guide for more information.